Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be testing thermal paste, but not any old thermal paste. We're going to be testing the top 10 sellers on Amazon. That's Amazon.co.uk, and obviously that's the time of recording. We've got the likes of Thermal Grizzly, we've got Noctua, we've got Acasa, we've even got Arctic. We're going to test all those and see how they actually perform against each other and see if the actual best selling one is actually the best performing one. We do have links in the description just below if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. Okay, let's start off with the test system. We're running an Intel i7 12700k processor the motherboard is an msi z690a pro motherboard with ddr5 memory we're also running 4800 megahertz ram and the graphics card is a geforce 3070 and we've got a lexar nm800 ssd all testing was done on the same machine, disconnected from the internet, running only the basic programs we needed for the testing, running the same versions, everything was exactly the same. Thermal place was applied the same on every single test, so we spread it completely over the CPU. And the cooler of choice was the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo, which is basically a dual fan cooler. So to get the test results, we ran Cinebench for 30 minutes continuously, and we did that three times. Then we added all the temperatures of all the cores up together, then divided it by the amount of cores there actually was, which got the average temperature from three basically runs. So as you can see here, we have got quite a difference in the temperatures. As you can see here, we've got a lot of temperatures between 81 degrees Celsius all the way down to 66 degrees Celsius. Believe it or not, the cheapest per gram was the StarTech, and believe it or not, it also worked out the hottest or the worst performing one out of the lot, followed, by, followed up by the Acasa T5 Essential at 79 degrees, and then quite a bit of a jump when we dropped down to the Acasa T5 Pro Grade Plus at 71 degrees. Now, the rest of the testing, there's only two degrees between all of them. Next came in the Arctic MX4 and the MX Silver at 68 degrees and then at 67 degrees we've got SYY157 as well as the Arctic MX5 and the Thermal Grizzly. On top of that we've also got the Noctua NT h1 and they're all at 67 degrees but the winner was at 66 degrees was the noctua nt h2 that performed better than all of them on there but to be honest with you with everything from the arctic mx4 all the way down to the noctua there was only two degrees difference would you actually notice that difference in reality probably not you probably come a different day a different cpu different motherboard you will get different results but again this is testing on our high powered so that means hot intel i7 12700k thank you for watching this video everyone it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end please make sure you subscribe like comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams it does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.